some of that power coming back. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Joe Bands back in half guard. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound. Mark Coleman as he lands again. Holy somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. 
Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. This man is landing What's through that? ground and pound. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another ground and pound strike lands. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Wow. He actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Get on your side. Get on your side. Don't let him keep you flat. You got to move. Don't be Continuing flat. to stay busy here on the ground. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Alan Jobe. Nice. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Grab the head. Grab the head. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Takes his back. Now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice positional control here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Clean hook there. Big shot lands for both guys. Final seconds here. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready, from fight. the top position. Ready. All right, round two. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Jobe. Oh, there's a massive left punch there. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Oh, and he lands another combination here. Really starting to get into a striking. Great timing on that double leg. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. That's a big strike right there. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with his strike, fought well behind the jab, and significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. He's got to be careful here. Now he's going full mount. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing. Joe Bands back in half guard. We'll see what he does here. He shoots up and lands to the head. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in comfort. The crowd just loved whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Joe Band gets back up here. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Another big takedown. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh. And a oh. close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready? You ready? Third Good. round underway. Well, just a hook right there. You see, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt. Oh, oh he hurt him again, bro. And he gets the single leg takedown. Big ground and pound. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near you, Ben. And it closes the distance, gets the single final tie. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Change of the position. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Chobin. I'll stop this. You did it right Oh, there's another ground strike for good measure. He's very close to the finish here. And back to his feet. Big right hand. Lands a good combination. Oh, big left. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point. Right? I think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor change. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now he's starting to pay dividends. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. Catch your breath. Listen All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. Ready he was fight. bruised. Ready. And look at all the swelling. Good. It shows that he has taken far too many. All right, here is round four. Fight. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space. So that he can get into space. Oh, 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 
Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alan Brown. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.